Hi, this is Bob from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And if you're looking for an online tough book community that gives tips, tricks, and support, hit the subscribe and that bell button for notifications of all our upcoming new videos. Today I'll be going through the features of the Motorola ML910, so stay tuned. Hi, thanks for coming back guys and staying tuned. I'm Bob again from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. And today I want to go through some legacy equipment. Now this, this is the Motorola ML910 ruggedized laptop. The Motorola did come out with a couple of models of uh, ruggedized laptops, tried to beat out Panasonic and well, history has shown they didn't make it. They no longer make laptops, but we stumbled across this Motorola ML910 and I thought it was really cool. I wanted to talk about it with you today. So let's get right into it. First off, I want to point out, this thing is a brick. It weighs 10.3 pounds without the AC adapter, which to me is very hefty as compared to the competing CF29, which was about six pounds, or even the CF30 that was in that six, seven pound range as well. So it's much heavier. It's got a lot more ruggedness to it, some of the most coolest features that I've found and that I really love, and you guys know me in keyboards, is the keyboard. This keyboard, I wish they put this keyboard on today's laptops. This has nice bounce, a nice firm feeling key when you press down on it. They were ahead of their time. Look at this screen. This is a 13.3 inch HD widescreen laptop touch. So what was the 29? 13.3 inch standard definition. Uh, this has a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels. It even has a 500 nit for daylight readability. Now obviously that's not as good as today's like the CF-19 has a 6000 nit and the CF-31 has a, a I believe a 1200 nit if I remember correctly. Anyways, so they were a bit ahead of the time on that. In addition, they built this thing from the ground up for wireless communication. They were compatible with all of the different systems that the police departments used back in those days, like the RF uh, radios and such. They also came with a fingerprint reader, which I think is a pretty uh, advanced feature, as well as the video card that's in this thing. They put in the ATI Radeon XT1400 video processor card. So you got a really sharp video on the screen. Other nice features now, this is just, you know how I'm with the keyboards, but I gotta tell you, when they made the handle on this, they came up with the best idea. It's spring-loaded. Take a look at this. I don't have to push it in. If I look at the CF54 or 53 or 31, those handles, when you pull them out, they don't go back in. There's no spring-loaded. So I like that feature. I think Panasonic ought to bring it on to their newer units. Uh, it had the standard stuff like DVD player. So you had a, a DVD burner, reader, CD burner type thing. So you could do uh, CD discs. Uh, it has all the port covers. This happens to be a USB port. And by the way, guys, I'm kind of discovering this laptop as I'm talking to you. Um, there's the power. What is that? Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Yep, there's the power port right here. We have another USB port and another USB port. So three USB ports. And over here you have your NIC and your 56K modem. We know how important that 56K modem was back in those days. And of course your docking station ports. This is your pass-through antennas. And on this side we have where your battery goes. Uh, there's some audio ports. This is an external antenna port right here. Here's the serial port and your external monitor port. So overall, this laptop had all the features you come to expect and it looks cool. I, I mean, it is thick and it looks bulky, but I really like it. Well, that's kind of all I got for you today on the Motorola. Thank you for watching today. Any questions or comments you can leave below and I'll see you next week.